club has won back-to-back -back premierships. How does it feel? Oh, you know, pleasing. Uh, the players. Well, people uh, like myself don't know how it feels. So. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, well, that's that's good because our players uh, have been told that and taught that uh, that if they get a chance to get there, that they shouldn't waste it. And um, you know, the boys played very well. They played a very good brand of football, which is pleasing from a coaching point of view. And um, they played all day. They didn't sort of. They played the whole 120 minutes, which also was pleasing. And I just feel that um, you know, after the five years sort of hard work that we've put in, um, just just to get another premiership was very deserving, really. You mentioned coaching. You've mentioned five years. Uh, when does Kevin Sheedy, or has Kevin Sheedy, made a decision about his future? No, I'll be sitting down with the players in the club this week and um, see whether they're keen to. Uh, to want to get somewhere next year or the year after and I think that's fair enough because uh, if you look back in history not many people after they've won a, a premiership or two want to get into the ball game of winning another one and um, I suppose there are many reasons why I wouldn't have signed a contract as yet or re-signed because it's no good wasting your supporters time or your players or committees if uh, not everybody wants to be in the ball game. You mentioned time. It's uh, I read in the press where you spent seven hours the other night mm. watching videos. Just what were you watching? What was I watching? Hawthorne. Did you get anything out of that seven hours that helped you yesterday? Well, I think that um, you've just got to watch other teams and other coaches and, and particularly the teams that you're playing in the finals. And I'd like to think that I, I can sort of work to know what all the other players are like in the opposition sides, so that if I can get to know them as well as I, I know my own, well, it's a, it's pretty good. It's pretty good to be able to do that. Talking about the opposition players, uh, just what did you, as the opposition coach yesterday, think of Dermot Brereton? Well, I picked Dermot in the uh, Victorian side this year. He's a great player, and um, he's causing me headaches all day. And uh, you know, like eight goals in a losing grand final. And, you know, he's, he's sort of got so much talent, and I mentioned that to him in Western Australia this year. So for him to come out and sort of his, his performances, I suppose, for the last couple of weeks have been sort of up and down, but to play the type of game we did in, in the grand final and under the circumstances with us winning uh, the way we had um, was a, a magnificent effort. And um, whilst I've got the opportunity, Bob, I, I would just like to, to thank uh, Lee on a, a magnificent career for football and in total. Uh, a great player, I played against him myself and you always knew that you were going to have a fierce contest when you played against him and along with Peter, if, if Peter, if it's true that Peter Knights and David uh, Helen, if they have retired, uh, just on behalf of Essendon and football in general, I would like to wish them all the best. I'm sure you echo the thoughts of everybody in, in that respect. Back to your own players again, uh, Merv Neagle, was he fit to play or, or not? Merv uh, unfortunately got hurt during the week on the training track and I thought I'd tell a bit of a white line to say he was sick because I didn't want him to be under the pressure of uh, trying to gain selection in a, in a grand final side and I wanted to give him every opportunity uh, up until perhaps sort of Saturday morning to see if he could get right. Naturally unfortunately he couldn't along with Frank Donnell, who put in a you know a really wonderful effort. Frank you know, had a, an eight-week injury and got it down to, and nearly got there in four. And uh, naturally Shane Hurd, who had the courage and the character to ring up and say, "Look, I'm not completely 100% fit. I don't think not being it, I, I shouldn't play." And then of course last night he said, "If I had a, if you had to set me on the bench until the last 15 minutes, I might have been all right to play that one." But uh, Steve Carey got his chance and he deserves it too. Was there any sympathy in the Steve Carey one when he missed out last year? Oh no, no, you don't have to be sympath uh, sympathising players. Um, the right players got picked in the order of uh, being right and Steve over the six years that he's been a lesson and the five that I've had him deserved to play the Premiership for sure and uh, he's, he was best in the ground the seconds the last time he played. Well, Kevin, from all of us at World of Sport, congratulations. There's no doubt that the best side won. And a great... A great...
coaching effort from Kevin Sheedy. Yeah, well, thanks, Bob, and thanks to everybody at Channel 7. There are a couple of people that I didn't thank last night that I would like to thank personally on TV, and that is uh, our doctors who have been wonderful at, at Essendon. You know, they've been like another sort of selector and tremendous value to the club. And to my personal secretary, uh, Kevin Egan, he's just been a, a terrific person to work with and, and to have to put up with me the way he has. Uh, he's a, a, a top man. Thanks very much to Kevin. All right, Kevin, well, congratulations once again. And on behalf of Monocraft, we'd like you to accept that specially struck diary to the Premiership coach. And once again, our thanks to Bruce and all the team down there at Monocraft. Now, Kevin, if you and Geraldine and the new family you may consider possibly getting away, and I'm not talking about Sydney or anywhere, I'm just saying popping up to the river or something like this for a while. I'd like you to have a look at this videotape, if you would. Because we'd like you to pop up to the Mildura, Mildura Country Club, right in the centre of the Mildura Golf Club. 40 luxury units, barbecue, golf, two swimming pools, and a fully equipped gym. You'll be flying up there with the courtesy of Kendall Airlines, so we'd like you to take Geraldine up there at your leisure. Now, one other thing, considering that Geraldine has put up, as all wives of coaches do throughout the season, so much trauma, drama, late nights and whatever, this magnificent decanter from the team at World of Sport. Would you present it to Geraldine on our behalf? Thanks very much, Sandy. I, I will, and uh, on behalf of just my own family, Geraldine, thank you. It's been quite marvellous with their sponsorship throughout the season, and to that man...